origin of 250 gemstones Sit back, relax, and grab some popcorn Well, it all started in the city of Mosul A nice town in the country of Iraq Union said that she likes to eat her husband Dwayne Wayne's booty <laughs> Why she so say she like that? Booty. Like the sway in the morning Let me show, real quick. And she talked to husband Dwayne Wayne's booty. <laughs> booty. So she had an interview at the sway in the morning <laughs> show, and she talked about reciprocity during intimacy. And then she brought up the subject of eating the booty. Um, and I said, you know, and then I asked him to eat. Does that mean she has to eat the man's butt? Guys really aren't. At least the ones I know are really into this. That's Please. what they say. So one That's of, not what's happening. <laughs> so a lot of people were Damn, that was that like she's so action. aggressive. Look at her. That's what they say, but that's not what's happening. That's what they say. So one that's of, not what's happening. <laughs> so a lot of people were going Yeah. Michael here. Two hundred and fifty gemstones exchange. Sorry, y'all. Uh, I'm I'm real cozy today. I'm just chilling because it's snowing outside. It's cold, it's freezing. And Texas is halfway shut down. Dallas is halfway shut down. But, you know, I was thinking about parenting and, you know, everything's about family, I guess. Family and raising kids and getting old and all this stuff. But do y'all think there's a perfect way to raise a child? I don't have any kids. I'm saving my real seeds for the right one. But uh, for those that have kids... Or want to have kids soon. I'm just curious about what goes on in your mind about, you know, the appropriate way to raise a child, what to expose them to. Me personally, I say, hey, if it's a boy, don't be like Gabri don't be like Dwayne Wade. And if I'm raising a girl, I'm gonna tell my little girl, don't be like Gabrielle Union. Man, <sighs> let me say that again. I had to get my thoughts together. If I'm raising a little girl, I'm telling her to never, ever, ever be like Gabrielle Union. If it's a boy, don't ever, ever be like Dwayne Wade. This, this is just sad. I don't know where how the black people get to this point, but I'll get that to the next segment. But respect comes before anything, before love, before finance. It's a respect thing. Respect, then it's understanding everything. Comes. Respect, understand. Do you understand that? He's a man. First off, does Dwayne Wade understand that he's a man? She goes on there and tries to, her and Jada Pickett, they go on there literally trying to expose their husbands, embarrass their husband. Now, is some of this stage? Could be. But um, even then, you, like, there's other ways to get publicity. You don't have to get publicity telling the whole world how you burying your face in your man's butt. Because here's the thing, like some guys, this one, I, I don't know, that's that's their business, that's y'all business. But uh, first comes the tongue, then comes the toys. You understand what I'm saying? First comes the tongue, then comes the toys. So she's already back there. Because I mean, I'm the type of nigga, hey, I don't like nothing behind me. There's nothing good that can come from a mofo coming uh, behind you. Like you can get mugged, knocked upside your head, robbed. Beat to death, shot up, stabbed. So I, don't, I just don't like people behind me. And then you behind me making all these weird, moving, moving fast, making all these weird noise. Got you, I, I don't know. That's not a some. That's not a masculine position to have your woman behind you. I put you behind me for. Hey, hey. <laughs> your girl got her fork. Got her fork and knives ready. What you got your fork and knife? I don't see no steak. What you about to eat? <laughs> go go ahead, bitch. <laughs> I'm not the one, but uh, I don't know. She just she just finds ways to embarrass this man. He's a man, bro. I don't understand. Like, even if y'all into that, it's just a respect. Don't tell. Look, look, baby. You get here, baby. Uh, don't do that shit again. If I seen on one, she was on the sway, and uh, her whole point was whatever. Women, a woman shouldn't just please a man and go about her day. There should always be reciprocation. There should always be a return. So if she's doing something to you, the man got to do the exact same thing. She going down on you, you got to go down on the girl. But, you know, I think usually that's what happened anyway. I guess some guys don't like, I don't know, everybody different. But what she was really saying is uh, she wants to be in control. Like, 
no, you're going to turn your behind around and let me eat that thing. I'm like, no. Because the guy asks, does, does the guy, if the guy eats your butt, does he have to let you eat his butt? Because you talk about this whole reciprocation thing. And she said, yeah. He's like, so the, the uh, other host, he says, well, the guys I know, they ain't with it. They ain't with it. She said, that's what they say. And she had like this demonic look on her face. But that's not what's going on. <laughs> I said, damn. <laughs> so, I tell, if, so if I have kids, I say, don't ever be like, yeah, that's not a woman. That's some, I don't know, some uh, disturbed entity that preys on weak men. Man, my boy, don't you ever be like having your woman tell him all your bedroom secrets. That's for the bedroom. That's why it's called bedroom secrets. It's not for, it's not public secrets. She's licking on the man's butt. She's putting toys up there. And then she's going to turn your your baby boy into a girl. I mean, this is what happens when you ain't got no spine. So parents out there or uh, couples out there looking to uh, have kids, as long as your kids ain't Gabrielle and Dwayne Wade, they're on the right track. If they're far, far away from them too in personality and lifestyle and thought process, I believe they're on the right, on the right track. Respect comes before anything. I mean, the fork and the knife. I still don't see no steak. That's good to eat your ass. You did say that in the book. I did. Um, and that's how you gotta take these kids. You gotta really get them young. Kids? And say, look, you're kids? gonna be just offering blowjobs willy nilly. There should be, um, you know, some pleasure that you experience in return. That it's only fair. Is there an age limit? I can see that, but you can't like, gotta bring the kids. Teach the kids, you know? Yeah, you're a right home. Uh, for sure, there needs to be um, some kind of lingus, uh, same time, or or not, or uh, directly oh, after. Oh, she's She is just very um, free. I said, you know, and then ask him to eat your ass. You did say that in the book. I did, um, and that's how you gotta teach these kids. You gotta really teach these get them young. <laughs> and say, look, if you're gonna be just off 